Welcome to our first TechBond Pro Series video on the repair of a poly tank. Now, this video is actually going to serve two purposes. We will talk about repairing a large hole in a poly tank, which there are no videos out there that gives you a solution for repairing a large hole in a poly tank. And two, we'll talk about the repair of a large poly tank. Two different issues. The solution is the same for both, but people look for each one individually. So we're going to use this video to talk about both issues. To make the repair, we want to use our patented polymer bonding process that will bind any polymer to itself, to any other polymer, and to almost any other substrate. And we will use the tech patches. The tech patches are in and of themselves a polymer, a flexible polymer, a polymer that also elongates. Both of those are needed in the repair of a large hole in a poly tank or the repair of a large poly tank. The patches are made from fluorosilicone. Fluorosilicone is the polymer of choice for industries that have high stress environments automotive, aerospace, aviation, any industry that has a high stress environment will use often fluorosilicone as their polymer of choice. Now the first step in applying the patch is always surface preparation. The patch itself has already been prepared. This patch is what we call the XT patch. XT patches are abraded on one side and the other side is glossy. It's the braided side that goes against the tank. Now the surface preparation of the tank always starts with roughing the tank to below the sheen. Almost all polymers have a sheen to them. Don't really know why, but they do. And the key is to braid it, to rough it up to below that sheen. Now, once you braid it, you need to clean it. You need to get rid of all the residue. You need to feel the residue. So, you use any cleaner that will not leave a residue. Street free Windex, acetone, DNA alcohol. and remove all the residue. Now we're down to the wall polymer itself. Okay, we'll give that a second to dry. Now the next step is to saturate the surface with the poly prep. It's an adhesion promoter, a surface primer for polymers. So saturate the surface. You literally want to see the surface wet. The mistake many people have made in using an adhesion promoter is that they haven't used enough. The adhesion promoter etches the surface. The better you etch the surface, the stronger the bond is going to be. So make it wet. Then you want to let it dry. Then you are going to use our catalyst. It is a catalyst. It causes a chemical reaction. It's our activator accelerator. But the key thing that it does is initiate the chemical reaction that's needed to create a bond. You etch. You don't need to saturate the surface with the activator accelerator. Just spray the area around the hole. And on any hole or in any crack, we want to have the patch cover an area about three quarters of an inch to one inch all the way around. So that's the area that you spray. Now, after saturating the surface with the poly prep 
and spraying that area with the activator accelerator or catalyst. We need to use a heat gun or hair dryer to warm the surface. You want it very warm, but not hot. By temperature, about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. By touch, just below hot. So we will warm the area around the hole with the heat gun. Now we are going to warm it up a little higher than 120 degrees Fahrenheit because we have to put the adhesive on the patch. And that takes a few seconds. And the plastic, the HDPE of the tank, will cool off in that time frame. Now, we need the adhesive. We need the patch. And we need the glue squeegee. You're going to get a close-up of putting the adhesive on the patch. So let me do it here. And we will be back after the close-up. Now we're going to apply the SI adhesive to an XT Tech patch. XT Tech patches are matte on one side and they are glossy on the other. The SI adhesive will be applied to the matte side. We are going to apply the SI adhesive using concentric circles all over the patch except for diagonal corners. We're going to pick those corners up, press the patch onto the tank or pipe, press down the corners, and then use a glue squeegee to apply pressure from the center out. We use our thicker viscosity, SI Black, and apply the adhesive in concentric circles. Squeezing and unsqueezing the bottle so you have a, a quick flow of the adhesive. And again, we are not applying the adhesive in the diagonal corners. In the center where the hole or the crack is, the edges of the hole or crack, you're going to apply extra adhesive. Then you will use the diagonal corners, pick it up, apply tension, press it onto the crack or the hole of the tank or pipe. Then you will press down the edges with your fingers and then use the glue squeegee to apply pressure from the center out. That's how you apply the adhesive to the XT Tech Patch. As the video suggested, we're going to take a patch by the diagonal corners, apply tension, and press it on. Then we're going to press down the edges. And then you use the glue squeegee to apply pressure from the center out. Now we can't really do it in the center in this case because the hole is in the center. Now, to make sure that we have enough heat, we're going to add more heat afterwards. You can do that without a problem. And what you will feel is that the heat actually will generate more heat. It's be becoming much hotter than 120 degrees. That's the chemical reaction that's needed to effectuate this bond. getting warm. And so you can touch each area and make sure the chemical reaction that's needed is ongoing.
Now that patch is flexible. Any poly tank of any significant size, the repair system needs to be flexible. All the epoxies out there, they're not. They are a rigid repair. Fiberglass is a rigid repair. This will flex with the tank as you add and remove liquid or contents. It will also elongate. The next thing you want to do with the patch is to run a bead of the adhesive all the way around the edge, all the way around the seam. Once you do that, you use the catalyst again. You spray the activator accelerator on the seam. Now, if it was that big a hole in this size of the tank, you wouldn't have to worry about anything. There would not be enough pressure on the inside. But in our learning curve with the patches, one of our clients found out something. He found out that on a bigger tank, and he had about a 7,000 gallon tank and a fairly big hole, and the heat is still there. The heat is still there. The patch actually elongated. The bond didn't break, but the force of the liquid water in bulged it out. So what we need to do is to what we call plus the patch, which will mean putting the adhesive on top of the patch, several coats, until it's rigid enough so it will not budge. It will still have some flexibility to withstand the addition and subtraction of contents but it won't elongate. Now, as we said, to plus the patch, we're going to have layers of adhesive. It's been about five minutes since I've done this, and it's still warm. Sometimes it'll take 15 to 20 minutes for the heat to go away. The chemical reaction continues for that long, and that is what is needed. That has been what has been missing in every other repair methodology out there, a chemical reaction. To plus the patch, you simply run beads of the adhesive over the patch. And again, we're using our thicker adhesive, the SI Black. Then take the glue squeegee that comes with the kit and spread it. To start with, we're going to put three coats of the adhesive on before we use our catalyst. Some of our clients said, some of our clients have said that the adhesive becomes as hard as metal. Now we're going to spray a light mist of our catalyst, the activator accelerator, on the adhesive. That hardens it very quickly. And you feel it getting hard. We're going to put a couple more coats on. The bigger the tank, the more coats you need. The adhesive bonds itself. 
with our catalyst, it bonds to itself. The largest tank we've paired so far has been about a 12,000 gallon tank. It will handle more. Now, when you're done, you visually inspect it. Make sure that there's no quarters that can come up. We've already had a PTFE patch, the patch that goes on gas tanks, been pulled off by somebody saying, ah, let's see if I can do this. It was a peel, so it did pull off. This patch that does not have the PTFE on it, the Teflon on it, would not peel. This patch would tear, but the tear strength of PTFE and the HDPE is such that when you start the peel and have, use enough effort on it, it will peel. Otherwise, it will not come off. That will not elongate. That will seal the liquid in. That will seal the liquid up to a point. We will need to work with our clients to determine what that point is. But as I said, the largest tank that we've done so far is about a 12,000 gallon tank where the hole was in the bottom of the tank. And the patch did not come off the elongate. This stops the elongation. The reason why the process, the polymer body process, our patented polymer body process, and the patches work so well is physics and chemistry. The physics comes from the heat. It adds energy to these low energy surfaces. The chemistry comes from our catalyst. Combined, they give a result that's not available anywhere else in the marketplace. We would appreciate your help in getting the word out. In the years since we first did the process and since we first applied a tech patch, there hasn't been a failure. There hasn't been a failure. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, please call 877-565-7225. Both the Palmer Body Process and Tech Patches are proven technologies. They've been proven by scientists, engineers, technicians, and everyday people over the past few years. And I do want to thank all the people that have helped us navigate the learning curve. Any new technology, there are things to find out. With your help, we have minimized the time spent on that effort so that the patches and the process can work as promised. And they always have. And thanks to physics and chemistry, they always will.